we're going to talk a little bit about Maltigo. Uh, it is available through Backtrack 5 and there is a Windows version available as well. I'm going to be using the Windows version and I'll show you real quickly uh, an easy way to get it. And you can see Paterva Maltigo. Click here. Maltigo is the one we're looking for. You can go to download clients and choose Maltigo and you can see there's two editions or two versions of it. There's a community edition and a commercial version. The community edition is the one we'll be using today. It does have some limited uh, some limited functionality compared to the commercial edition but it is free and the commercial edition is about $650. I've got a shortcut here on my desktop. I'm just going to pop it open real quick. The first thing that shows up is a, a little choice here where you can choose between private mode and public mode. I'm going to go ahead and click public mode. The first thing that we're going to want to look at is how to open a new graph. And a graph in Maltigo is really where you're going to perform uh, most of your activity. So if you'll notice this button here with the little green plus symbol, this little button here will give you uh, a new graph. You can click on that or you can actually do control T. Um, that will also open a new graph for you. I'm going to go ahead and click the button here. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, this area right here where it says uh, transforms and where you can really adjust the number of results that you get back when you run your transforms. You can see the choices here are 1250, 255, and 10,000. These are going to vary, as it says, the number of results that you get back in the community edition. However, it cannot be moved, so we're stuck at 12. But we get pretty good results from 12, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, draw your attention to the uh, left side over here where you can see the different selections that are available. These different um, little menu choices are called entities. Um, each one you can use to um, drill down into and, and look at relationships uh, with different areas of, of infrastructure. Uh, people, you can do social networks, um, things like that. Drag it right onto your graph there from the left side. You can just double click on the text it's itself and type in google.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So now it knows that that's where we want to look. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to do is I want to run some transforms on this entity. Um, what transforms are, they basically take one type of information and break it down into another type of information. So for example, you can take um, a domain to a uh, website or, or www.host, so to speak. You can take websites then down to IP addresses. So again, right click, run transforms, all transforms. So if you're when you're looking at this list of transforms that are available, you can see that there's quite a bit there. The name itself is fairly self-explanatory, but if you're just not 100% sure, what you can do is you can hover over the name and you can see that it gives you a little additional description about what that does. Um, if you want even more information, what you can do is click the little blue icon out to the side of the main. So click this, and we'll see what kind of results we get. Okay, so you can see that it, what it did was really found Google's top level domains here. On the graph itself, uh, while we're here, I wanted to show you a little bit of, about how you can navigate around the graph. Uh, what you can do is, if you want to just move uh, around on the graph or move the uh, entities around on the graph, you can hold right click and just um, move it around and it will drag that around. If you need to zoom in and out to get a clearer view of, of what it is that you're looking at, you can just do the scroll wheel and that will zoom you in and out um, as necessary. To select entities to run additional transforms on, you can just drag a box around the ones you want. 
Um, you can drag a box around all of them if you want all of them. If you want just a few of them, uh, what you can do is just hold shift and just select the few that you are really interested in. We're going to go ahead and run another transform on um, all of the top level domains that popped up. This, uh, just for fun, we'll do these, we'll break these down into name servers. So I'll click that and I'll zoom out a little bit. And you can see how it, what it did is it took all the top level domains here and it showed the relationship and how they're broken down. Um, so if you were curious about that, you could um, look into that a little further and see how that pans out. If you wanted to run some additional transforms, you could select, again, just the entities that you wanted to run additional transforms on and do a right click and see what's, what options are available. Again, since uh, different entities are unique, there are going to be different transforms available. Let's see if we can do a net block and see what kind of results we get here. So you can see it broke it down even further. So the tool's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice tool. It, where its power really is is in link analysis, and you can see by running the different transforms, you can see how different things are linked together. Um, it gives you a bird's eye view of an infrastructure. You can do the same thing with people. Uh, it, it will run transforms that use search engines. It will run transforms that use social networking. Let me just look around and see how the, the infrastructure is built and how it pans out. Um, one other thing I'll show you while we're here is uh, how you can switch the different views in the graph mode. Um, there is what they call a bubble view. Um, and you can see how, they, it, how it expands out here. Um, and just shows the different how the different uh, entities are related or linked to each other. Um, down at the bottom right of the graph, you can see a little legend that shows you what each color uh, represents. Green, in this case, being the main server records. Blue being our net block, and yellow being our domains. Uh, there are a few other buttons here at the top of the graph that uh, just give you different variations of, of the views that we were just looking at. So it, it really helps you to view the information um, in different ways. And if you'll notice, I've zoomed out so far that instead of, instead of giving us little icons and pictures um, of each of the... Go back to the view. After you zoom out to a certain point like we are here, it gives you just a circle instead of now that I'm zooming back in, you can see that it's got nice little icons that represent different things. So again, just play around with the tool. If you have any uh, questions, there are quite a few resources out there. You can Google some tutorials, uh, things like that. Hope this has been helpful as an introduction to Maltigo and just showing you how to operate the tool so that you can have some fun and look around and do some research. Thanks for your time today.